Have you ever wanted a simple yet powerful tool to record things on your screen, whether it's games, browsers, video calls, anything of the sort? Well, Ease Us has a great tool for you called Rec Experts, and we're gonna go ahead and walk through some of today's features. I'm gonna show you how you can go ahead and record different scenarios and get it set up the way you want it to. <music> So here we are in the software, and if we go ahead and check our settings first, we could see a bunch of different things that we can change if you want to. The defaults are pretty good, but if you do wanna change the default location, for example, where the videos will be stored, you can go ahead and do that here. You can also enable a countdown before recording. It's very handy, especially if you're going to be moving away from the keyboard and mouse for a second. Uh, for your recording, or if you're going to be minimizing some screens afterwards, it does make it really handy. And this tone also will just make a noise like when you are leaving a voicemail and it says, you know, leave a voicemail after this beep, it's gonna play a tone first and then you know that the recording is happening. Under the video settings, we're able to change the output format, which is also very handy. So the containers can be extremely useful if you do wanna change your container, MP4, MOV and MKV are gonna be the most common video formats that you'd want to use. You can change your video quality, so you could do original, high, or standard. It's all dependent on how much space you wanna use up by your recordings. You can change your frame rates here, and I'm actually gonna change my frame rate to 60 frames per second. Um, if you're gonna be doing a lot of computer content, 60 frames is probably a good spot. If you wanna do some gaming content with high refresh rates, you can also use 120 or 144 but I would suggest 60 being a good middle spot. Now the frame rate mode is just gonna be a variable versus a constant frame rate. It will adjust the frame rate down if your PC runs into a resource issue while trying to record. Um, this is the recommended setting, but you can also set it to constant frame rate so that no matter what, it's gonna to try to record at 60 frames per second. But if it starts running into an issue, then it's going to automatically change to a variable frame rate. You can also have it set so that the audio files will be saved as a separate file. So if you wanna have your video and audio as separate, you can go ahead and do that and you can change the container that that would be in as well. For the audio, you can set the default container, you can set your bit rate. So a higher bit rate is gonna be slightly higher in quality and you can also set the sampling rate as well. You can see your default hotkeys and you can change the hotkeys if you'd like. So that's extremely handy as well. You can also make it so that your cursor is either visible or not visible in your recordings, which can be extremely handy depending on what you're gonna be playing. I like leaving my cursor on because majority of the content that I record is tutorials just like this. And finally, you have some game overlay information so that when you're playing a game, it will go ahead and show you the frame rate, the remaining storage re space, recording duration, recording file size, and the hotkeys if you need to. I'm gonna turn off this one because I don't particularly need it. And you can also make it so that the overlay is displayed in your recording file. I'm not gonna have that on either. So now let's go ahead and show how you can use the different modes within Rec Experts to the full advantage. So full screen is great. It's gonna be really helpful to showcase walking somebody through something that's gonna take you through multiple screens, multiple applications. Um, this is a really good one for creating maybe work guides. Uh, where you're showing someone how to use a piece of software or how to do a particular task, full screen can be great for that. So if we go ahead and select it, in our recording mode here, we could see that we have the border or the outline that's gonna show our recording space. We're able to see our resolution up at the top left-hand corner here, and we're able to see some settings down at the bottom. So we can actually schedule a recording to start at a particular time. We can have it auto stop after a particular set of time as well we can have it split into multiple sections if we want as well. Now we have our webcam here, and as we can see, the webcam is using the wrong source right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the webcam here. I'm gonna choose my link to C. And we can see myself now. So that's great. Let's go ahead and adjust the camera real quick. So there we go. And now we have a few modes. So we have a square, we have a circle, we have a virtual background that I can go ahead and select, and it's gonna do its best to replace the background there. We can also rotate it, we can flip it, and we can change our resolution. I'm just gonna leave it on the circle 
Now from here, we can go ahead and we can just take a screenshot if we'd like, or we can go ahead and start our recording. So if I go ahead and start my recording here, we're gonna have our recording. We're gonna see a bar down here. Now we can go ahead and hide this to the tray if we want to. And what that's gonna do is gonna make it so that it's not appearing, kind of gets it out of our way and we can just focus on our recording. And we wanna go ahead and bring it back up. We could just go ahead and double click it and then we can bring it back up. We can do some annotations here so we can actually do some uh, drawing. So we can draw on our screen here and I could be like, hey, you know, look at this headlight here. This is something that I'd like changed. You know, there's a lot of really great useful tools that you can use here. And then we can just go ahead and clear everything out very quickly. We can write some text. We can change the color of the text or the drawing that we're doing. And we can also enable an artboard mode. This just gives us a blank canvas so I can write hello as best as I can here. And we could do that and we could turn the artboard off and it'll still appear here on here and then we can go ahead and clear it off. Now, once we press stop on the recording, we can go ahead and watch our recording back. We can trim it into clips. We can add a watermark very quickly. We can add video intros and outros, which is really nice. And we can also auto transcript it using AI, which is extremely handy as well. Now, next up, I'm gonna show you the custom recording mode. This is extremely handy if you wanna go ahead and record a particular section of your screen without recording the whole thing but it is gonna be more than just a window. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and select custom. And I'm gonna select my, the right side of my screen. So it is kind of choosing it by window right now, but I can go ahead and select the first window and then I'm gonna go ahead and just drag this down. And I want it to show both of these together. So now it's gonna record both of these sections, but it's not gonna record the left-hand side of my screen, which is gonna be extremely handy and I could still have my face. I can also just disable the webcam if I want to by uh, hitting it off like that. I can turn it back on. And what I'm gonna do is now I wanna record this two pieces of audio. We're gonna make sure our microphone's on. We're gonna make sure it is the right microphone. So we're gonna use our webcam one here, make it nice and easy. And we're just gonna go ahead and record this right side of the screen. So it's gonna give us our little countdown. And now our recording has started and I can talk about maybe some pricing of some games, maybe talk about what the pricing is on Steam versus on different platforms, yada, yada, yada. We can go ahead and finish our recording. And just like last time, it's gonna pop up here. And as you can see, it only recorded that section of the screen. So again, this could be extremely handy if you only wanna show a certain section of your, of your display, it could be very handy for that. Now the window mode is extremely handy if you only wanna record a singular window. And this is really great in a bunch of different circumstances, but one that I really like the idea of is recording things like a Discord call. If you go ahead and pop out the call into its own separate window, as long as you have permission from everyone in that Discord call, you can go ahead and record it. It's really handy for things like D&D &D groups, for interviews, stuff like that. So that can be extremely handy. But one that I like using the windowed mode for is for recording uh, command line windows. So for example, I have my log file open here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select window. And now I can select a very particular window. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the command line window. So here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and move my webcam over here if I want to. But in this situation, I particularly don't want my webcam to get in the way of any of the text. So I'm actually gonna turn it off here. And now we can go ahead and record. And it is only gonna record this window extremely handy again, if you're gonna be showing off something in a particular window, you don't wanna show everything, you want it to be in maybe a particular size. If I go ahead and resize this window, it's automatically gonna resize the recording. So that's very handy. And then if I go ahead and press stop, we're gonna be able to go ahead and watch that. So you could see it get resized in real time. It's an extremely handy tool. And again, I really like it for this particular use case, but I'm sure you can find a use case for the windowed mode for yourself. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to use the game mode. So we're just gonna go ahead and select game here. And we're gonna select Bolitro that I have launched. So we're gonna select that. And now if I want to, again, I could turn on the webcam and have it appear somewhere on the screen. So if I'm gonna be doing you know, some gameplay, 
maybe make my screen a little bit larger, uh, my webcam, sorry, make it a little bit larger. We can go ahead and press record. And then it's not gonna show. And then we can see here that we're going ahead of recording. I can go through my settings here, go through video, you know, just take a look at a few things just so that we can at least get a recording. And we can see our little bar here, which is nice and handy, it's out of the way. I could press stop now. And we can go ahead and watch our recording. And it's in pretty good quality. We had it set to 60 frames per second. It's using my display's resolution, which is really nice as well. And this is really great for video game content if you're gonna be recording Let's Plays, uh, any kind of stuff for YouTube and all that kind of jazz. This is a really great solution for that. Now the audio only mode is just gonna record audio. This can be extremely handy if you wanna go ahead and record again, some kind of Discord call, Teams call, or what have you, as long as you have permission, depending on where you're located, you can go ahead and record that audio. This can be really handy for things like that. And it's very simple. You just go ahead and it'll show the system sound. It'll show your microphone and you can change where the system sound is coming from. And it's a very straightforward one. You could also screen record this if you wanted to afterwards to get kind of a little bit of a visual idea of when people are talking. And finally, we have the webcam mode, which can be extremely handy for recording just your webcam, maybe for use in something like a video resume or just a talking head video of that sort. We can go ahead and press webcam and it's gonna be just like what I normally record for my YouTube videos. So we can go ahead and record, we could set our microphone, we can set our audio, all that kind of stuff. We could still do the virtual background replacement if we'd like to. We can change our resolution of the camera. So this camera goes all the way up to 4K, so I could do that if I wanted to as well. And then you just go ahead and press record. And we can go ahead and do our little bit of a talking head. We can talk to the camera a little bit. Then once we're done, we can go ahead and press stop. And we can play that back and it plays nice and smooth. Again, it is recording at the resolution that we had the webcam set to. So 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second. I hope this video helps show you how rec experts can help you record all kinds of content on your PC. If you have any questions or comments about the software, you can leave that down in the comment section below and we will happily help you whenever we can. We'll see you next time.